The new timeline feature in ZBrush 4 has a variety of uses. One of these uses is to enhance your workflow while sculpting. As uh, many experienced ZBrush artists know, when you're sculpting a character or a figure, there's a lot of zooming in, making adjustments, and then zooming out again to assess the impact of the adjustments that you've made. Constantly zooming into a specific spot, zooming out again, can get a little bit tedious. So one of the ways that you can use the timeline is as a workflow improvement tool. To access the timeline, open the movie palette, expand the timeline sub palette, and press the show button. The timeline then appears above the canvas. This camera label here next to the timeline is letting you know that the camera views are what's going to be animated on the timeline. So the first thing I need to do is find a good view of the model. I'll just place a dot on the timeline by clicking on it. Now I'll rotate the model and find a different view. I'll click on the timeline again. Rotate the view. Click on the timeline a third time to add a dot. I'll find a couple of views of the eyes that I like and add new dots. Now as I drag the marker below the timeline, left or right, I'm actually scrubbing through the views that have been stored by ZBrush. So ZBrush is creating an animation by interpolating between these views. I can continue to work on my model, and then any time I need to go back to one of these views, I could just click and scrub in the timeline, and it will take me to the stored view. ZBrush only stores a view when I click on the timeline and add a dot. Otherwise, I can work normally. To play through the animation, shift click on the marker below the timeline, and you see the animation will play automatically. And it will loop every time it reaches the last dot. To record a movie from the animation, control shift click on the marker below the timeline. You can see that it's playing through the animation. And then when I go to the movie palette and press the play movie button, I can see my animation playing in real time. And then I can press on the export button to export the movie in QuickTime format. To delete a dot, just select it and drag it off the timeline. You can see I'm removing these dots and now the animation has changed. So it's going from the view of the head straight to the eyes. If I want to remove multiple dots, just click the first dot, then shift click another dot and drag them upwards. I'll get a message asking me if I want to delete multiple points in the timeline. So I'm just saying yes, and now the animation has been deleted. And I can start over creating a new animation if I'd like. I want to adjust the length of the timeline. Normally it's set to 30 seconds. In the movie palette, I'm changing the duration slider to 5 seconds. So you can see that the marker below the timeline displays both frames and seconds. By default, ZBrush records at 24 frames per second. I made a, another animation of the camera views that focuses on the creature in the character's helmet. Now I can move these dots on the timeline back and forth to change the length of the animation so that there's more time between the dots. I can zoom in on a dot by double clicking it. You'll see the timeline expand. You'll also see that above the timeline is a second timeline that gives you just a quick view of all the keyframes on the timeline and where you are in the timeline as well. To zoom out again, just double click on the dot and you'll be back to the standard view of the timeline. I'm going to adjust these dots in the timeline and then copy and paste them. To do this, I'll just make the adjustment by sliding them. Shift click the dots that I want to copy and then hold shift and click on a blank area of the timeline. I'll get a message asking me if I want to duplicate the selected dots. I'll choose yes and then you'll see the duplicate dots appear on the timeline. If I want to overwrite the view stored in a particular dot, all I need to do is set the timeline to the dot I want to replace, change the view, and then hold control and shift together and click on the dot that I want to replace and the view stored in that dot will now be overridden with the current view. 
The interpolation between dots or keyframes in the timeline is linear by default. If you'd like to smooth out the animation or add more stylistic motion, you can add special dots which create an ease in or an ease out effect. Add a dot to the timeline and then control click on it to convert this to the ease in or ease out keyframe. Now this easing effect will not be seen when you play back on the timeline, it's only visible when you record a movie and then play back the movie in real time. To change the amount of ease between the dots, just drag the dot so that it is closer or further away from the stored camera position. This will adjust the amount of ease between camera positions.